What's going on guys, Jai's Kitchen. Um, something a little bit different today. I'm gonna take you through one of my, uh, how to cook one of my favorite dishes that I use for meal prep. It's super simple, it's super quick, and it's really, really versatile to fit in with your you know, daily calories and, and whatnot. Um, couple things to get over. So basically what I'm cooking today is um, chili basil pork. All right, there, there is leaner options. I'll go through that in a sec. And one more um, quick announcement before I start is next week is gonna be 7 p.m. My live video as per normal. So Wednesday, 7 p.m. next week will be a Father's Day special. We've got a special guest coming on. So make sure you tune in 7 p.m. Wednesday, save, uh, save the date. Um, all right, why I chose this dish. So basically it's super easy, like I said. It's, um, it's a little mess. I use literally one chopping board, one knife. I've put my stuff on a plate today for a bit of presentation. Um, but other than that, man, I'll, I'll rinse that off and use that to serve myself my lunch after. It's uh, super quick. Honestly, the, the thing that took me the longest was probably chopping up the garlic and chili and stuff. I love garlic, so that's probably why it takes me so long. I use a lot of garlic. And super versatile. So you can use this, um, you know, if, for instance, today I'm gonna add a fried egg to mine because I missed out on my eggs this morning. Tastes absolutely awesome. You can have it with steamed rice. You can have it with steamed rice and veggies. If you want to cut the rice, you want a bit of a lower calorie intake, guys, you can you can literally serve it with a nice simple salad. Bit of cucumber, bit of lettuce chopped up. Really, really simple. Mix your meat through. It tastes awesome. Even uh, make like a bit of a san choy bao out of it. You can make like lettuce cups and stuff the lettuce cups. Super healthy, super lean, super light. Or you can go the full hog like me and get your steamed rice. Um, I'm cooking some snow peas with it today alongside it. Garlic snow peas. Um, and I'm using pork, so um, I chose pork because, on second, uh, that's I think that's sort of like the the traditional way they do it in Thailand. They use pork majority of the time, but you can use like a nice lean beef mince if you want to, guys. All right, five star quality mince, super lean. But I'm going to go for a nice tasty pork today, guys. So basically, I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to have to change the camera angle so you can see, but. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll uh, put in the comments below what ingredients you need and what you gotta do. All right, I'm just heating my oil up. It literally takes like 10 minutes, guys. It's really, really quick, really easy. I'm just gonna change the angle of the camera so you can see everything. Make sure you wash your hands, guys. Hygiene is a must. All right, so I've got my pan here. I've got my pan ready for my snow peas as well, guys, already. I put my rice on before I started about 10 minutes ago. That's all ready to go in the rice cooker, steamed rice. Um, you don't have to put snow peas, but that's my choice today. My veggies, guys, all pre-chopped. So garlic, chili. I've left a couple because I want to put them on after to give a bit more heat to it. Bit of lime, uh, my basil. Generally, you would use Thai basil here, but um, sweet basil is just as good. There was no Thai basil. A little bit of ginger and some onion. So my oil is heating up. I feel like a real, uh, real master chef today. This is really good. Um, CC gave me this idea. So I chuck, I'll chuck my onions in. I'll chuck um, all my garlic and that little bit of ginger. I'll chuck all of that in. I only chuck half the chilies in. All right, for a bit of flavor. And then I'll add the other half after for a bit of heat. Um, you don't have to add chili, guys, but I love chili. I love garlic, as you can see. All right, so I really get that going and heat that right up. Steam rice is ready. Um, I'll run you through what I've got here, too. I don't know if you can see, but I've got... Um, so you put a dash of oyster sauce, a dash of soy sauce. I'll show you after. A dash of, dash of hoisin. This is not the traditional way they do it, guys, but it's super tasty, and it goes with all um, types of protein, so... A um, little bit of lime, obviously, salt, pepper. You can add, had, add honey if you like. I will be putting some today because, um, like I said, I'm going the full hog. Um, let's get this going. Huh? A little bit of oil in the pan, heat them up. Get that nice smell going. This is my favorite knife I use to chop all my veggies. It's super sharp, super easy to use. Does anyone have a favorite knife? Comment below. I'd love to know. All right, starting to get that nice smell. All right, so again, I've got about 500 grams of pork here, I reckon. Yeah, 500 grams of nice pork. All right, this is heating up nicely. All right. Dump your mince in. 
Alright. I like to cook it on a medium heat. Some people like to cook it on low. I like medium because it keeps the juices in the meat. Really easy. Um, and that's it, man. Start to, start to cook the meat through. Is that a bit of a mix? Oh, I'm starving, Mel. I've saved my appetite all morning for this. I'm gonna polish this off. Now, this, this serves about three or four people too, guys. So three or four meals, main meals, um, especially with the rice and stuff. Um, so basically, we let that cook for a couple minutes. Let it get nice and tasty. Now, I don't have one pre-cooked today, guys. I wanted to show you, like, the real deal. So, once it starts to get a bit of color, then I'll start to add, like, a little dash of um, oyster sauce. All right. Uh, minimal, guys. Use minimal of these sauces. Like, I don't use too much. I like to use natural ingredients best I can. But it just um, gives a bit of moisture to the meat. Soy sauce, just a touch. And a little bit of hoisin. That'll start to get the juices really flying in the meat. And then we start um, adding all our little salts and peppers and uh, a little bit of lime. Yeah, so again guys, this is really, really good for meal prep. It's really easy. Um, I'm going to sizzle up my snow peas now. Let that heat up first. All right. Not sure what to talk about. I've never done a cooking show before. Hope you're enjoying it. Any questions, chuck them below, guys. Uh, really, really tasty dish. All right. Let's go In the meantime, I've heated up my leftover little bit of chili and garlic and onions, uh, ready for my snow peas. Just whack them in. These don't take long at all. Alright, just let them sit. Alright. Any questions, guys, please chuck them below. I'm not sure what to talk about. I've never done a cooking show. All right, I'm going to start to add a little bit of sauces. All right, starting to brown over. It's a little bit pink, but it's perfect. Add a dash of oyster sauce. Just a dash. Don't need much. You've got lots of chili, garlic, ginger. Ginger's an option too, guys. Some people don't like ginger. You don't need to put it in there. I've just experimented with it and um, I don't mind it, so. As far as how much oyster sauce, soy sauce, I have no idea. Um, no, I like steamed rice with this meal. Brown rice is just as good, but steamed rice just, um, I don't know, tastes a little bit better to me. I like brown rice in my salads. Um, I don't measure much guys, I don't measure garlic, I don't measure chili, I don't measure this, I've got Italian in me so, you know, uh, as Nonna says, just a pinch of this and a, and a handful of that, alright, I just go to taste guys, 
a little bit of soy sauce. Shake the snow peas around, these will be almost done. I like my veggies crunchy. Alright, you can also steam your veggies guys if you want that real, real super healthy option. Uh, most rice cookers, when you're steaming your rice, you can steam your veggies too. The little basket thing above it. This meat's almost done. Alright, so I'll put my oyster, I'll put my soy sauce. Now, a little bit of hoisin. Whoops. Whoopsies. Alright, mix it through. Put chilies in it guys, it gets too hot. That's why you add the lime, it takes away a bit of that spice, that spice from it. Um, oh yeah. Mm -mm. Snow peas are pretty much done. All right, a little bit of salt and pepper. Pinch or a punch, I'm not sure. A little bit of pepper just to taste. Now, honey. You don't have to put honey, guys, but it just gives it a little bit of a, sweetens it up a little bit for you if you're not into those full herby flavors. I love herbs, I love all that simpleness, but um, yeah, I'll put honey in just to show you today. Teaspoons plenty. Just mix it around, let it melt off the spoon. Right. Almost done guys, couple minutes we're done. I'll serve it up, you can see what it looks like. Alright, that's done. on a bit of a medium heat guys it keeps all the juice in the meat it's really really juicy really really yummy all right now squeeze the lime a little bit of a squeeze you can use lemon if you want to but um, I prefer lime give another mix this is pretty much done Meat is done. All right, so add those last little few chilies because I like a lot of spice. Um, chop up these last couple. Bang, bang. All right. Done ski. Snow peas are done, meat is done. With the basil guys, I literally just um, take that chili out. So I've washed all my basil. I literally just grab it, rip it in half, rip it again, sprinkle it in right at the end. So it just sort like it just sort of um, what's the word? Sautes it a little bit. You don't want to overdo the basil, so you still get that fresh flavour. Right at the end, you chuck the basil, guys. A little bit more chili if you like spice. Give it a mix. That is done. Ready. 
Um, I would normally put a little bit more basil, um, but I only got one packet today. That's done, my rice is done. I started that before. I'm gonna serve it up so you can see it. All right, um, where am I gonna start? So, rice is good. It's my steamed rice. In a second, guys, I'm about to eat. This is gonna be amazing. Um, there's a little uh, scooper. There it is. All right. I'm not sure how to serve it up to make it look pretty, but we're not here for pretty. We're here for simple, effective, tasty food. That's it. Burnt the garlic a little bit in the snow piece, but that's okay. Um, forgot about it, got a bit excited with my, with my meat. That's it. Done ski. That was what? Super quick guys. Move that one. Super quick, super tasty. Um, Thai basil, uh, steamed rice, and some chili garlic snow peas, guys. Again, you can do this with rice. You can do this with just um, a nice simple salad. It tastes really, really good. It's really, really light. You can do this with, um, I'm actually gonna fry an egg now and chuck it straight on top. You fry a little egg straight on top of your rice. Unbelievable. Um, or yeah, San Choy Bao, whatever you want guys, mix it up. I hope you enjoyed. That's all from me today. Remember next week, 7 p.m. Father's Day special. We've got a special guest next week, so it should be a good one. Uh, make sure you tune in, save the date, 7 p.m. I hope you enjoyed that guys. That there will serve probably, you know, four main meals at least, maybe three if I'm eating. But um, yeah, perfect little way to uh, meal prep guys. You can put it in the containers, split it up with a bit of rice, bit of veg, bit of salad, whatever. Dunski. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Cheers.